Hi students, in our previous classes, we discussed about the basic definitions of the physics, is introduction to physics. In last classes, we discussed the speed, velocity, acceleration, and the equations of motions in class one and class two, etc. And in this class, we start our intermediate first year syllabus. The first year intermediate syllabus is supposed to be discussed about loss of motion. Loss of motion. Okay, student, this is the one of intermediate first year physics chapter, loss of motion. In this chapter, we discuss about the motion of the body, causes of motion, and the types of motion, how the body gets motion. So many scientists discover about motion of the bodies in space and uh, in gravitational field. Uh, for example, like Einstein and uh, Galileo and the next Michelson mole. So many scientists uh, explained about motion. And lastly, finally, the Newton says about motion on his last called Newton's loss of motion. So first of all, we discuss about few definitions belongs to loss of motion. Okay, the first one definition tells about cause uh, motion tells about the motion of the body by a basic definition called uh, inertia. Inertia. It is the I think uh, new one. It is the new one word inertia. In previous classes, in lower education level, in lower classes, you learn about motion and types of motion and how the body gets into motion. Up to lower level, uh, you learn in previous classes. But in higher education, it is nothing but in the intermediate level. We know the causes of motion, loss of motion in this chapter with basic definition inertia. So, what is inertia? How to define inertia? We discuss now. Inertia, it is the it is the inability inability of your body to oppose to oppose is the opposes the state of rest state of rest or state of motion of the body This is the definition of inertia. Before discuss about inertia, I would like to define two words: mass, weight, mass, weight. Generally, so many students and people, both words are same. Mass and uh, is equal to mass is equal to weight. So many students and the people are so two words are equal and same meaning, but it is not. The two words are different. The meaning of the two words mass and weight are different. So what is mass? What is weight? Mass is a quantity of matter. Mass. quantity of matter quantity of matter mass
gravitational force on body or gravitational force on matter is weight for example this is a a body is in my hand total entire quantity of matter the total entire quantity of matter is mass if you take this marker any place on any place of the earth quantity of matter is same the quantity of matter does not change if you take this marker on moon on sun on jupiter if you take any place on nine planets if you take this marker on space by rocket the quantity of matter does not change this is mass so mass always remains constant what about weight the gravitational force on matter is called weight when the marker is in my hand a one force is acting downward the one force is pulled down that force is gravitational force so gravitational force on body on matter is weight here the gravitational force on surface of the earth 9.8 meter per second square is newton method in newton on surface of the earth if you take if you take this marker on moon on moon its value 1.6 so weight of the body or weight of the matter change with respect to place on gravitational field one value on moon another value on jupiter another one because different places have different gravitational forces so this is weight mass quantity if the body have more mass if the body have more mass the body get more stability the body get the more stability how sir because the body have more mass here here i will take two bodies on a smooth plane on a smooth plane this is a 1 kg sphere 1 kg sphere the sphere of mass 1 kg and here this is 50 kg sphere two spheres on a horizontal smooth surface in this two sphere which one is very get into motion easily with the small forces which one is ready to get into motion 1 kg is very easily get into motion because the 1 kg sphere have less mass less stability and another 150 kg more mass more stability the more stability is wants to be continue its rest the stability continue its rest the continue rest will opposes the motion a property of 50 kg property of 50 kg wants to be continuous rest the property opposes the motion because the body have more mass okay this property of the body is called inertia so inertia is the property inability of the property inherent property of property so what is the it opposes the property opposes the property opposes the state of rest state of motion here the 50 kg is at rest rest opposes the motion that is inertia in your room in your classroom in your dining hall whatever may be a fan is rotating a fan is rotating the rotational fan opposes the state of rest because rotational fan continuous wants to be continuous motion 
it opposes the state of rest. This property is called inertia. Okay, so what is inertia definition? A body, inability of the body, property of the body to opposes to opposes state of rest, state of rest. Types of inertia. Types of inertia. Types of inertia. First one, inertia at rest. Second one, inertia at motion. Third one, inertia at direction. This is the types of inertia. Inertia rest, inertia motion, inertia direction. First of all, we see the inertia rest. Inertia rest. The property of the body will oppose the state of rest. The property of the body opposes the state of rest unless by force. For example, a passenger sitting inside the bus. The bus is at rest. Passenger also in rest of the bus. Okay, in a bus, a passenger sitting. Inside the bus, the bus is at rest. When the driver started suddenly, when the driver started suddenly the bus, the passenger, the passenger get the backward direction. The passenger falls in the backward direction. Why, sir? Because due to inertia at the rest. Here, bus is at rest. Passenger also rest. Both are at rest. So here passenger continuous its a state of rest. Passenger continuous its a state of rest. Bus, the driver take suddenly started. The bus only get into motion, not passenger. So here inertia continuous its a state of rest. Bus continuous state of motion. That's why the passenger take sudden jerk in the backward direction due to laugh inertia at the rest. Otherwise, if you take another example, when you ride the bicycle or when you ride the bike while the bike is moving, while the bicycle is moving, both wheels of the, both wheels of the vehicle, okay, both wheels of the vehicles are in motion. If you take a front brake, if you apply front brake, then complete vehicle is fall down in the front direction. The complete vehicle is fall down in the front direction. The back wheel wants to be fall down in the front direction. Why sir? Because both vehicles are moving. Both vehicles are in motion. You applied front brake only. So the front wheel wants to be get into rest, not back wheel. Back wheel continues its motion. So state of motion opposes the state of rest. State of motion of the second wheel opposes the state of rest. That's why the second wheel fall down front of the wheel. This is also loss of loss inertia at the rest. This is the first time. And second time, inertia at motion. Inertia at motion. When the bus started, bus is going. You are also going with the bus. You are also going with the bus. When the bus driver applies sudden brakes, when the bus driver applied sudden brakes, you will fall down in the front edge. Why, sir? Because the bus is going, 
you are also going with respect to bus 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 wants to be take rest not your body so that's why your body wants to be continuous motion so the energy of motion continuous energy of motion opposes the state of rest bus only take rest not your body that's why your body wants to be continuous motion you will fall down in the front direction this is a law of inertia of motion and last one inertia of direction the inertia of direction means the bus is going in straight direction the bus is going in straight direction while the bus take sudden turn while the bus is take sudden turn means the bus is take left direction your complete body bend in the right direction this is opposite direction so why is that because when the bus is going in a straight direction when the bus is going in a straight direction your body also going in a straight direction with bus but here the bus only take left direction not your body the bus only take left direction not your body what is your body the body wants to be continuous straight direction that's why law of inertia of the direction tells when the body take left your body opposite the take left your body take right direction this is the law of inertia of direction this is the student inertia types of inertia next definition basic definition what Force denoted by capital F. In previous classes, you learn about this word force. Push or pull, car force. Push the door, push the door, pull. This is the definition of force up to your ninth and tenth standard. But this is not a definition. This is only lower class definition. Force is a physical quantity. i already explained in the previous classes about physical quantity physical quantity means the quantity which is measured to possible length is a physical quantity meter is a physical quantity weight is a physical quantity height is a physical quantity isn't it the quantity which is measurable that is called a physical quantity here force is a physical quantity the physical quantity try to change the state of rest or state of motion is called force i will write the definition it is physical quantity it is a it is a physical quantity physical quantity that tries to change the that tries to change the state of rest or state of motion state of uniform motion or motion whatever may be state of uniform motion state of uniform motion okay a physical quantity tries to change the state of rest or state of motion this is a marker is in my hand what is the position of marker at rest the position of the marker does not change with respect to its surroundings and time that's why it is rest okay the state of rest change by the state of rest change by a physical quantity that is called force okay so force another definition is there there are two definitions a physical quantity a quantity quantity is used to a quantity used to on body a quantity used to on body get the acceleration acceleration is also called force the body get acceleration by a physical quantity 
is by the force. Okay, force uh, definition, okay, and force equation F is equal to M A. I will explain the equation F unit F is equal to M A in the next class. And uh, units, 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 uh, force measured in force measured in newtons. Newtons in MK system or SI system. Okay. Ergs in CG system. In CG system. And the one Newton is equal to, because this is the entrance point of group students, one Newton is equal to 10 power 7 S. This is complete uh, brief history about force. A quantity tries to change the state of rest or state of motion. Is called force. Measured in Newtons, F is equal to N A. So many types of forces are there in the world nature. The mainly four forces, the mainly four forces classified. The main forces, the main force, the types of forces, main. Types of forces. So many forces are there, but basic forces, basic forces. Okay, then basic, basic forces. First one, gravitational force. First one are gravitational force. Second one, electromagnetic force. Electromagnetic force. Third one, nuclear force. Fourth, oh sorry, strong nuclear force. Strong. Strong nuclear force. And the fourth one, Weak nuclear force. Weak nuclear force. This is the basic forces in nature. If you take any force in nature, the force must be belongs to this force. What are the basic forces in nature? Gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force. Gravitational force means the attraction force of the earth. The attraction force of the gravity is called the gravitational force. You drop any body from certain height. If we draw a body from certain height, the body falls freely due to a force that is called gravitational force. This is on surface of the earth. Next one, electromagnetic force. Electromagnetic force means the two forces mutually perpendicular acting at a point. Which forces are magnetic force and the electric force? If you take a magnet, already we know very well about magnet of two poles, south and north. North and north repelled, south and north attracted by a force that is called magnetic force. Every magnet attract another magnet or repelled another magnet. So this magnet is acting along the line. Is perpendicularly one force is called electric force. These two forces acting at a point the resultant force is called electromagnetic force in our telecommunication in our telecommunication in our, in our mobile communication in our fiber optics communication in satellite communication is completely used 
electromagnetic force okay and third one strong nuclear force if you take any body the body molecules completely strongly bounded by a force sir how sir you see this is the mouth the plastic molecules fiber molecules strongly affected strongly affected if we if you see this a flesh human flesh the molecule of the flesh is strongly affected by one and each by strong nuclear force it is not able to remove one particle on another particle the all molecules strongly affected strongly bonded that is strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force means uh, on external force the molecules are divided sir so how water boiled at 100 degrees centigrade water boiled at 100 degrees centigrade it it is evaporated so water state is converted into evaporation gas state so liquid state converted into gas state so molecule is divided by a force that is weak nuclear force so many examples so we will uh, see in the next classes so mainly here we discuss basic forces in nature gravitational force electromagnetic force strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force this is about force and next definition goes to momentum these definitions are used to in laws of motion to study the concept the basic definitions is very very important to learn about the causes of motion types of motion laws of motion okay next basic definition what the movement it is also a new one movement denoted by capital p so what is movement in our daily life we use this word are no momentum there is no momentum in the body there is no momentum in the bike there is no momentum in the person i will tell so many times but my momentum is not so what is momentum momentum is, it is the product it is the product it is the product of mass and it's velocity momentum means it is the product of mass and its velocity then momentum is equal to momentum is equal to p is equal to mass into velocity P is equal to mass divided by m, velocity divided by. This momentum is also called. This momentum is also called linear momentum. This momentum is also called what? Linear momentum. Okay. It is the product of mass velocity called linear momentum. P is equal to m. Okay, and units. If you see the units, units momentum for units is equal to units of mass kg, units of velocity meter by second, kg meter by second. This is momentum. When the body get into motion, when your body is in motion. here this is a, a straight line here a sphere of 5 kg is moving the 5 kg sphere is moving 5 kg sphere is rolling okay with the 10 meter per second what is the velocity of sphere the velocity is rolling sorry the sphere is rolling the sphere is rolling with the 10 meter per second of 5 kg then what is the momentum momentum is equal to it is the product of mass and velocity mass m is equal to 5 kg v is equal to 10 so m v what 10 that is equal to what 50 kg 
meter per second. This is the momentum of the body. When the body moves in a straight line, it is called a linear momentum. So when the momentum will be changed, a train moves along the track. A train moves along the track. This is the train. A train moves along the track. Total mass of the train. Total mass of the train. 600 kg. Total mass of the train. 600 kg. The train is moving with 2 km per hour. 2 km per hour. What is the momentum? According to definition, it is the product of mass and velocity. Mass is 600 and velocity 2. That is equal to 200 kg meter per Then when the momentum will be changed, when the momentum will be changed, if we increase the mass, momentum also increase. But it doesn't increase the mass because mass always remains constant. If you take any mass of the body remains constant. The marker, if you take this marker, mass of marker constant. So mass does not change. But what we increase, we only increase velocity. If we increase the velocity, the momentum will be increased. If we decrease the velocity, the momentum will be decreased. You are a daddy or your brother, whatever may be, ride the bike. The bike is moving. The bike is moving. When the momentum of the bike will be increased, it does not increase the mass of the bike. It does not increase mass of the bike, but we only increase velocity of the bike. By accelerator, when we erase the accelerator, velocity will be increased. How the velocity will be increased? Will be erase the accelerator. How the accelerator will be used? External force. So, when we use external force on your body, the velocity of the body will be increased. The momentum also will be increased. This is about uh, loss of motion. We will see in the next class the Newton's loss of motion with the help of basic definitions. If you perfect uh, in the basic definitions, you will easily understand the Newton loss of motion and the friction in this loss of motion.